John Walk and Mike Gross here, breaking down the Cedar Crest McCaskey game where McCaskey won it tonight, 54-47, to win the LL League title. Mike, tonight we knew coming in McCaskey had beaten Cedar Crest the first two times they met in the regular season by double digits, I believe, and they did it mostly by using a 3-2 zone the first couple times, and, and Cedar Crest really had trouble. They, they seemed Cedar Crest obviously was attacking that tonight. How did you see the Falcons go about kind of breaking down that zone? I thought they learned from the first two meetings, and I thought they, I thought they handled them a, a little bit better. Uh, one of their big kids, a uh, sophomore, Cole Laney, is injured. He got injured in the first round of the league playoffs. I thought they missed him. I thought they missed him. Defensive rebounding, uh, McCaskey getting some some points inside, kind of in scramble situations that maybe they don't get if a six four kid who's a good athlete is in there. Uh, but I thought it was a good game. I thought I thought I thought uh, Cedar Crest made a lot of progress from the first two times. I thought they attacked uh, the zone pretty well, and I thought they defended McCaskey much better than in the first two meetings. So I think these teams are ready to go for districts. I think they both made some progress in the last couple weeks. And it's a good point you made there on Cole Laney being out because the second chance points are really key to Even Cedar Crest coach Tom Smith said that afterwards. Yeah. Just down low, Ricky Cruz and Greg Nunez, both from McCaskey, really just did a good job of being around the, the uh, basket, right time, right place. And Cruz is a sophomore. I mean, we talk about McCaskey and we talk about Gantz and we talk about Speller, but, but uh, you know, they have some kids that are coming back, and McCaskey, it seems like they're always good. I think they're always going to continue to be good, and uh, uh, Cruz is really impressive. I thought Cruz was a big difference in the second game. And uh, just lastly, how do you kind of see this carrying over into the postseason in the districts? I think Reading is the favorite in, in the big among the big schools pretty clearly. I mean, I saw they, they beat McCaskey 103 to 51. I witnessed that that massacre. They're they're pretty impressive, uh, but. After that, it's a big group, and I think Cedar Crest, and particularly McCaskey, are probably part of that group. They could be, both be playing for a while. He's Mike Gurus. I'm John Walk for LMP. Check out all of our stuff online at LancasterOnline.com.